Welcome everyone. Today I want to spend just a few minutes talking about our SQL format feature in Oracle SQL CL. I'm showing you version 4.2.0.17, which was updated last week, but pretty much any version of SQL CL you'll find um, out there on OTN uh, supports what I'm about to show you. So let's get into it. One of the reasons our team built SQL CL is uh, a lot of times someone's first experience to Oracle Database is in the command line and they go to run something very simple like select star from employees and, and they get this back and that's just not very fun. Now of course SQL Plus has a lot of great reporting features and you can set up page sizes and line sizes and you can individually format these columns and that's great if you've been using SQL Plus for a long time or you're able to copy and paste a script that someone's already written for you, but SQL CL offers something else. And what we can do is say set, which is the same command that you use to make any sort of configuration for your environment here in SQL CL or SQL Plus even. I'm going to say SQL format, so this is specific to SQL CL, and I'm going to say ANSI console. And what ANSI console does is it takes per page the results of our query and it best fits the columns so we don't have that ugly wrapping. So I'm just going to run that query again using the slash and we can see the data come back. Now I said it formats it per page and we know we have a new page based on the header line being printed again and we can see the width of the data here changing per page to best fit that. Now we had 107 rows come back. I'm going to say set page size to 200 and run that again. And it's all back at the same uh, column sizes. Now I make this distinction about the page size because using this format is very quick, but it's not 100% free. Uh, you pay a cost each page SQL CL looks at the output and does that uh, arithmetic to get the best fit on the page. So, you know, if you're querying, you know, millions of rows or even hundreds of thousands of rows and um, it's very wide data and that math might get a little bit more expensive, it's not going to be as fast if you were just to unset SQL format. But I think for most people, they're at the command line for doing ad hoc work and uh, it's totally worth the cost and I've never personally experienced a delay or performance issue using the SQL format. So let's take a look at the help um, for the set SQL format. So I can just type help got a sticky keyboard help set SQL format and we have a few of them listed here and I just demo to you ANSI console one of the ones we support that's not listed here, I need to file a bug on that, is uh, delimited. So let's take a look at that one. Set SQL format delimited. So I can set my own delimiter. CSV is obviously comma separated values, but maybe I don't want to use a comma. Maybe I want to use uh, something like that as a delimiter. And I can also say, let's not double quote our strings, let's single quote them and we'll run our select star from employees again. So you can see that data come back. I could also say set SQL format JSON and run that. And we'll take one look at one more. Let's uh, do insert. So we get a, a, a list of insert statements back. Now when you start SQL CL up out of the box, SQL format is not set. Um, so what you want to do if you want to get the automatic formatting out of the box is in your login to SQL, just have a set SQL format to ANSI console. And you're back to the automatic formatting once again. Thanks for your time, and if you want to see regular tips and tricks on SQL CL, uh, you can follow our Oracle SQL CL account on Twitter, or you can follow me at that Jeff Smith. Thanks and have a good day.